morning guys as you can tell sun's just coming up <laughs> why don't you come and plant with me today good morning uh, this could be i think i'll go around can't get through there well i probably could yeah <laughs> I just don't want to get wet. Ugh. I got wet. <laughs> All right. So, once again, up before the sun, it just got light enough. I'm going to go out to feed the animals. And today is planting day. Per the farmer's almanac. I've been following it lately. I'm doing some change ups. And, um, what are y'all allowed today? But I gotta get the animals taken care of. So, I'm gonna get them fed. And then we'll go in the garden and go work. Hi, guys. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Have a Brody, Miss Cochin. Miss Cochin, you need to come out and eat and drink. Are you ready? I hear you. Come on, Miss Cochin. Come on, little girl. Yes. This is my broody hen right now. Look at that fluff. Hi, Miss Cochin. Are you ready to be let loose? Yeah? Okay. You ready to go down? <laughs> All right, Miss Cochin. There you go. And right back into the hen house. What are you doing up there? I know it rained last night. Doesn't mean you have to drink out of the on the top of the barrels, Missy. <laughs> you silly girl. Hi, baby boy. Doing Miss Cochin. You are so brody. And there she goes. <clears throat> She'll eat and drink and then she goes right back on the nest. Alright, and then I found something. Hi Sarge. This is Donald's beautiful fruit tree. Oh my goodness! Seriously! I gave you lovies! I know. Don't worry. And we have an almost ripe beautiful fruit there. And there's a ripe one. Right there. <laughs> this thing is producing a lot more. I'm not going to see if there's any more. I got to leave that one. But yeah, that's the miracle fruit. This is the fruit where if you eat it, it will change the sourness on your tongue to sweeter. So everything that's sour tastes is kind of sweet.
and an egg. One of the first duck eggs. So one of the ducks, we have um, all females, but one male. So got duck. Oh, this place, we've been having torrential rains. I mean, things are just flooded again. That's all flooded down in there. That's towards the retention pond. All right, I'm gonna take the egg and the miracle fruit, get it inside change out my shoes and start planting and then come over here there's stupid in the crew hello miss cinnamon queen that's all flooded ah i know hi miss cinnamon queen see nothing but chicken butts oh, there's a baby rabbit there he is they call them swamp rabbits around here. They don't have cotton tails and they got short ears, but they call them swamp rabbits. Must... <laughs> so thinking cute. Try to walk real slow. He's just a chillin'. You're so cute. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, swamp rabbits. All right, guys. I have my seeds for fall and winter in here. Now, as you know, in Florida, our growing season is a lot different from anybody that's, you know, um, in the zones high or lower than us. We are literally in zone nine and it says our first frost this year should be around uh, December 28th. So it is the last day of August. And I know in the last video, we said that we were going to butcher this weekend, but it was so humid outside by 9 a.m we could hardly breathe it was that humid it was like um i think it was like 80 to 90 percent humidity so it was hard to breathe you were sweating like crazy but this here are the sunflower seeds that i saved from when they grew over there and this year we're doing a lot of companion planting now companion planting is pretty much where you can have two plants put together to prevent bugs, um, help them grow better. Like for an example, broccoli and cauliflower go great with oregano. And oregano is a natural bug repellent. Um, so we are just going to be going all over the place today. Um, I got the swing set garden back here. We got the, this bet, oh, there's potatoes sprouting up. That's okay, we'll still grow with the potatoes. Um, we'll just run with it. Um, I left the, I wanna say that's some type of spinach. And I can't find the tag. A friend of ours gave it to us. I'm just letting it grow. But I'll fill up here. We weeded out the butterfly pea. Oh, that sun's getting bright. I'll put some herbs in here. I did weed two days ago. This is lemon balm. And then here's Donald's pepper patch. He's got to come out here and harvest. Look at those. I think this is the poblanos. He really wanted poblanos this year. So, but I mean, his peppers are looking great. Even these guys. Oh, he's got to harvest some. But look at all those blooms. All those blooms. This this one is just going to town. This one's this one's the biggest out of all of them. Oh wow, this guy's doing pretty good too. I have tags in them, but I'm afraid to pull out the weeds because I don't want to pull out the plant. This one fell over because of the rains, but it's still producing. Look at all those. This is the large cherry, but we pulled out the squash out of here. 
Um, my herbs are coming back to life. So I'm happy about that. Um, I still don't have no rosemary. That's the one thing I really wanted this year was rosemary and I can't get it. So I may have to buy a plant and try and grow it inside for the season. This is oregano, sage, and basil. Um, green beans, red sorrel, and this one's even producing blooms. Look at those little tiny blooms. It's full of them. So that's a good sign. Uh, we pulled out the rest of the squash and the buzz buttons. This is the chocolate baby bell. And you gotta, you gotta perk up, dude. I might have to put a little thing on you, huh? And there's a chocolate baby bell right there. Here's the butterfly pea garden. I'm not gonna pull this up just yet. Um, because I'm waiting for the seeds to get done, so I think I gotta remember. There's a swing set. That's why I write things down because I don't remember. But I'm gonna start in the front, and I'm going to get the peanuts planted. We're gonna do another crop of peanuts, which are right here, and. What we get from this is what we're going to keep and boil to eat. This is going to be our harvest one. So let's get going. Okay, we're here in the front. Over there is the moringa. Um, I still got to get to that, but we we did have this area cleaned up. It's uh, this past Sunday, but that's how fast things grow around here. So I'm going to have to pull these weeds out and then uh, plant. All right, um, it's almost eight o'clock and the humidity's sun the sun humidity starts to come out so I'm gonna try and get this done as fast as I can um, I worked in a lot of the weeds uh, you know we do a lot of the chop and drop which you know you can uh, decompose the weeds um, I'm gonna clean it up probably just a little bit more but let me show you this I just heard thunder and that is gonna be like the Brooksville Spring Hill area over that direction, there's a storm coming. So now I have to be extra careful because Florida, we do live in the lightning capital of the world and uh, lightning can actually strike you even if it's far away. So I'm gonna try and get this done as quickly as I can. So I'm gonna to have to go down the list one by one. So planted the peanuts in the front. Now we're gonna do lettuce and bok choy with onions in the old box and one of the four ways that where that rosemary's at. I hmm, I'm not sure if I want to do that, but I'm gonna go ahead and find the seeds in here because we got a lot, a lot, a lot of lettuce. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. Oh, that sun's getting bright. Okay, so we got the Great Lakes lettuce. We have the Hanson Improved Crisp lettuce. We have a salad bowl mix. Um, Little Gem Butter, Butterhead, or Butter, yeah, Butterhead. Prize head leaf lettuce. Um, not sure how to say that one. I'm thinking it's a lettuce or a Swiss, some type of chart, uh, Swiss chart of some sort. 
but I'm going to go ahead and give give it a try and same with this leaf marriott it's just red lettuce so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this area um, for the lettuces I may put the Great Lakes and the Hanson Crisp on this side and then the loose leaf over here and I'm just going to sprinkle them there's not going to be no rhyme or reason to it I'm just going to sprinkle it and see what happens That's how you do lettuce. Lettuce, the seeds are super small. It's best to just sprinkle them and then rub your hand across the top. They'll take off with no problems. And in with this bed, besides the lettuce, I also got the uh, scallion onions um, or white, white uh, Leb Lebanese scallion, which is an onion. Um, and that's all mixed into this bed here. All right, so now I'm gonna clean up my mess a little bit and get going on the next one. Just so you guys know, in this, where the rosemary was, I planted the bok choy. I forgot to put it in with the, uh, when I was picking up the lettuces. <laughs> but here is our tree, um, our tree bed. And I'm gonna do broccoli and cauliflower and oregano to help with bug control now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these um panels and put them a little bit uh together get the one out of the middle done um just so that way when the broccoli grows um it can get kind of tall so i want to make sure that uh, it's got something to lean on Another one done and just like the lettuce those seeds are so tiny you sprinkle them on and then you just rub your hand in you're done planted and this is what I planted Italian oregano uh, purple of Sicily cauliflower yeah. the I'm not sure how to pronounce that broccoli snowball cauliflower I had some leftover broccoli seeds somebody gave me and then I had these cauliflower seeds but I figure between all this I have to pick these out so I it might be something I could do on a rainy day but that's all for the trees uh, the tree box garden here's what I'm going to plant in the tires now I know I don't have a lot of it and I know not all the tires are going to get filled but what I'm going to do is the rest of the tires I'm going to fill in with either um, celery and possibly kale so I'll have to see how it goes and maybe some flowers all right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the eggplant closest to the fencing so that way it's got something to lean up against because they can get kind of tall especially this uh, Florida market eggplant, they get really big really quick. And then in the front, I'm gonna go ahead and plant the thyme. And then, yeah, I think the back row, I may use that all for kale and um, celery. So we'll see about that. Okay, I'm on the back side. Um, I got thyme all the way up until this tire here. Eggplant all the way down. I'm leaving that one alone because that one has a little um i found a little white potato in the uh where we had the potato so i planted it there and that's um some type of spinach so what i'm going to do is on this back row because i want to bring in the flowers i'm going to plant some giant noble spinach in most of these tires and then the end ones i'm going to put amaranth now this will be my first time growing amaranth but like I said, we want to bring in the pollinators. We still have a long season. 
and we still got lots of butterflies and bees. So these last two tomatoes, I have the um, amaranth, and then the rest have giant noble spinach. So now I'm going to turn my attention to our swing set garden. Now, in this square, later on, Donald's going to put a um, some wood around this. I'm going to make this my flower box. This is where I'm going to plant my sunflowers, some cover crop. Um, I have ashagot, or no, that's going to go in another another way. But I have ashagot. But what I'm going to do is in these tires. In the back row, I am going to put, I cannot say this, but it's some type of zoop. It's, um, it's a summer squash. Um, and it's really good roasted. I am then going to put cumin with it. And in the front, I'm going to put the radishes. So I'm going to put a bunch of radishes in these. Um, just to um, change it up because this past year our green beans didn't do so good so I'm thinking the soil might need amending a little bit because that's all we ever plant there so that's why I'm going to go ahead and plant this type of zucchini and hopefully we or squash hopefully we won't get the boring worms we've got them really bad I, I, we try you know we really like to the pumpkins and and the watermelons and we like zucchini we like squash um, especially butternut squash but we can never grow because we are always getting those stupid boring worms I hate them I don't like them so let me get to planting here because this storm is getting closer and there's like a cool breeze blowing so I know it's gonna be bad today just my luck I'm gonna have to go in the house fire ants And I noticed I had fire ants in here and I sprinkled the stuff to kill it, but they moved over here now. So, and that's, that's a big pot. That's a big one. So uh, I'm going to have to go get some fire ant killer and see if I can uh, get these guys. But it looks like they're not inside the tire. They're just all around it. So I'm gonna still, oh no, there you are inside the tire. Dang it. All right, well, I got radishes in those two. I'm gonna get the fire ant stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and plant the stuff in the back first. And I'm gonna do that summer squash and the cumin um, because this is a vine. So I can plant the cumin in the front and the vines and stuff in the back. Okay, got my fire ant killer. I spread it out on those mounds I found. So, next is going to be the butterfly garden. I got to plant beets and carrots into that one. Now, I had plans where I was going to plant the amaranth in a tire, but I think I'm going to take the ashganwa and plant those in those two tires all the way over there. Um, right now, that whole fence line is water. So the tires are kind of higher up, so I'm hoping they'll be okay. But I have the ashwagandha seeds right here. So I'm going to plant those in those far tires. And then I'm going to come back to the, the butterfly pea, which is that right there, and plant in that. So what I did was um, the one tire, tire over here, I placed um, the ashwagandha. And then the second tire I just did completely in cover crop. Now, what I'm going to do is in the swing set garden, which is kind of where those fire ants are at, but they're not inside the container. I am going to go ahead and plant some Detroit Red, some mixed beets, and some Denver carrots. And that's all going to go into that container there. I'm just going to work my way around the butterfly pea, just get them planted. Got that done, and I was able to avoid the ants. I planted the carrots in the front and then the beets in the back and the seeds were small again so I just kind of scattered them, weighed them around with my hand. Now over here is our futon mattress uh, set up. So what I'm going to do is we've got chocolate baby bells 
that's about as tall as they get. But in the back, we're gonna try planting the red Russian kale and the dinosaur kale. And then in these two front tires, um, if I have room, I'm gonna try doing, I got three types of basil. I got the Genevieve, the Italian big leaf, and the Geneva's again. So I'm gonna get to work because uh, my battery's about to die and it is getting hotter and hotter out here. So I know my time is almost up. Dinosaur K on the back, Russian K in the middle, Bays on the front. This entire tire is the Chocolate Baby Bells. And then the same setup, Dinosaur Kale, Russian Kale, and then some more basil in the front. All right, all that's left now is I need to plant some dill over here and maybe something in the, um, in the uh, mailbox garden, I'm not sure yet. Okay, so in this little garden here, I did have a small basil, did great, or not basil, dill. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the Mammoth Long Island dill, and then this is just, I think, yeah, it looks like just regular dill. I'm gonna plant that, this in between these two, uh, this is lemon balm, and that's a dwarf basil plant. It's so cute, I love it. I've been collecting seeds. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this spread out and put in there. All right, got that done. And then I'm gonna check this out over here. Um, this is the mailbox. It's got peanuts and it looks like tomatillos growing in here. So in some of the empty spots, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the Utah, Utah tall celery in here. I probably, I'm not gonna use the whole thing because it's got 700 seeds, but I'm gonna sprinkle a few in here, see if we can grow some celery. It'll be a little experiment since we're not really doing anything with this box. We're just gonna let it be. All right, guys, that's it. Dirty hands, dirty nails. <laughs> you know you did good. So I am sweating bad. It's really, the air's really heavy. The humidity's out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get inside, get a shower, get myself cleaned up eat something drink something because it's about almost 10 o'clock in the morning and uh i'm not going to water anything i'm going to wait and see if this storm comes close because we do have a 70 percent chance of rain today so i may just go ahead and water later tonight um if it does not rain but if it does i'm going to let mother nature because that's free yes <laughs> all right let me know down in the comments what you're growing for this fall season. And remember, guys, grow something for your family. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.